Looking at number five, number five, we have the following information. QR is equal to 13, PT is equal to eight, and we want to find the value of Q, uh, QT. So QT look like this. And then we have PT, which would look like this. That's going to be eight. And we know that T is a midpoint between PR, so if that's 8, this is 8 as well. And then we have QR, which is 13. And since it's a kite, this is also 13 over here. So we want to find QT. We know that the diagonals are perpendicular in a kite. So we have a right triangle. If we redraw that, We have Q, T, R, 13, 8, but we do not know the value of Q, T. Um, I draw an arrow from the right angle. My C is 13, so we have to use the Pythagorean theorem as we've been. We have, we don't know what Q, T is, we can just call that A. So we have A squared plus 8 squared equals 13 squared. We have a squared plus 64 is equal to 169. Subtract 64, subtract 64. We get A squared is equal to 169 minus 64 is 105. We square root both sides, square root both sides. And you get about A is equal to 10.5. Two, or if you want to round to the ten hundredths place, so you can see it's about ten point two, or you could say it's uh, ten point two five. If we do to the hundredths place, the four rounds up. So a is equal to ten point two, which means that whatever you choose, the tenths or hundredths place, depending on how the question's phrased, that's what QT should be is about ten point two or ten point two five.